Hey, we found some water. <laughs> we need a little itty bitty boat and then we'll be complete. Hey guys, so uh, we wanted to get you updated on what we're up to. Sorry for the absence. We're going to explain that. Yes, and we're also going to give you a little bit of insight on what could be next for the O'Kellys. Yeah, a glimmer of hope, if you will. You have to watch all the way through. When we last saw you, we were trying to get a boat deal closed in Southern California. I literally don't think we could make this up if we tried. Here we are, the day before my 50th birthday, and I am leaving in the midst of buying this boat to go to have a surgery, a Mohs surgery on my eye to remove all the cancer that was not caught in Australia. Tomorrow, I will have no cancer on my eye and they will at that point decide if I need plastic surgery and when that will be scheduled. If I don't do this tomorrow, I'm literally gonna be waiting for months, months. I wanna move forward with my life and this new boat and new adventure. So that means that Nick is going to be Sands, his co-pilot, while he continues to fight for dockage. Our dockage option, which we thought we had, is out. And man, finding a place to tie up has just been ridiculous. And we have been beating the bushes trying to solve this problem. And then to have Megan's skin cancer issue on top of all of this, this has been the most stressful boat transaction that uh, that we have dealt with. Painful. Boom. Open your eyes. You're going to be nice and snug. Okay, should I put my fingers out or just... Oh. You're going to put this fan in your hands. I came back to Portland on my to have a little biopsy done on my eye. And I thought it was gonna be a Mohs surgery, but the doctor said, I'm not convinced you have cancer. It could just be scar tissue. So before I dig deeper in there and perhaps disfigure you, let's just do a biopsy. So that means that we couldn't get the boat uh, in the you know allotted time frame that we set. And we asked the seller to please extend a few weeks, keep the boat safe on the mooring as is, and that we'll come down and close as soon as this is officially was resolved. We were asking for a contract extension and we explained about the cancer and the biopsy and we just needed to wait a few days. We had a contract and one party, us, we couldn't fulfill our part of the contract and there's no obligation on his part to extend it. It has to be mutual agreement and he did not agree. In spite of the fact that we had jumped through so many hoops and spent so much money. dog whisperer. You know, you out there in YouTube land have no idea how big a deal this is. <laughs> Chip normally avoids me like the plague. Like I come through the door and he's like, I'm out of here. But this time he's tolerating me. Let me pet him. is facing his fears to get to the other side. We can do it. Come on. Okay, if I go, will you go? 
storybooks make it all easy but <laughs> there's orcas out here there must be like four or five and they're spouting they're surfing waves i swear this is the most beautiful spot on earth you got you got the forest you got the orcas you got these rocks that have been out here for millions of years this is look look at it My, you made my just year. You have no idea. This is a huge moment. I just got a call 7 p.m. on a Friday night from the pathologist doctor who reads these reports. And he was apologetic. He was he works in a hosp cancer hospital, but he saw on his email that you know I had been trying to reach him. And basically, he said he did not find any malignancy. So there's no cancer. We're free. Such good news because honestly, we're our life has just been on hold. It's been totally disrupted by this. So the gratitude I am feeling right now is surreal. I didn't expect to get a call at seven o'clock on a Friday night. Did you? I'm like, who's calling me from Santa Monica? Oh, the labs in Santa Monica? Yeah. That's basically it's like where we were trying to buy that boat. Well, call Chris. So, we texted the seller, and we waited. the last time you saw the Goonies movie. <laughs> Did you see all the pelicans on the beach? Los pelicanos. As muchos pelicanos. longest day of 2023. It's a beautiful day. Happy summer solstice. Wow. Wow. This is the most tilted we are towards the sun. <laughs> I'm feeling tilted. <laughs> it does look a little tilted. Normally that sun is right over there. Right? Tilted, baby. You tilted and ready to throttle up? What's next? With no boat on the horizon, we decided to look further afield. At a field. Good one. I like that. Well, the truth is, it was more than a field, but less than a house. More than a house? Two houses? But not quite? It was a really cool property. Don't you mean rurally cool? Oh, look at that. Puns are contagious. Forget two holes. A house for each of us. Let me guess. You get the one that's nearly done, and I get this one. Happy wife, happy life. I think we were just trying this idea on for size. But the truth is that if we can't find a home on the water, we'll have to find one on land.
pretty girls go like this, like this, like this, like this. <laughs> Aloha. Here in Lahui. Just getting some coffee. And then we're going to go take a look at a very unique boat. There's literally only one of a kind of this boat. Just like each of us. Nick just asked me if I'm nervous or excited, and I said that I have burned all of those emotions out. So now I'm just here. And it's beautiful so far. Uh, it's always fun to see something that you've seen online, photographs, and then see it in person and be like, okay, that's what this space actually feels like. Because in the photo, it looks really small or it looks really big. And so I'm kind of fascinated, but this boat does not have lifelines. That's right, no lifelines. Oh, this is a really cool boat. Kalewa, by the way, I hope I'm saying that name right, is an owner design, owner built boat. But in this case, that does not mean amateur built. The owner is a boat builder with several commercial vessels operating in the islands. There is no wood on the boat. It is 100% foam core, epoxy, S and E glass built. It is extremely stiff and extraordinarily well maintained. Yeah, that's a king berth back there. It's got very low time nanny diesels, center boards and kick up rudders. The electrical system is from Ocean Planet and they really know what they're doing. It's a 48 volt lithium system with enough solar to keep you away from the dock for as long as you want to. Coming down the companionway on the starboard side, it's a little unconventional. You've got a settee and table in the aft section. A midship is a rather efficient galley with 100% induction cooking. That's nice to see. And all the finish work is top notch. Really haven't seen a boat this well built and this well maintained in a long, long time. It's 50 feet overall, it's very, very light, and I guess you could say the design is a bit unconventional with more or less an open bridge deck, though it is protected, and then kind of a tight squeeze getting down in the companionways. The owner has done a lot of miles on this boat. He's done Hawaii to Alaska, down to Mexico, and back to Hawaii three times so obviously it's ocean proven and it's going to make somebody very happy just not us unfortunately i'd say 98 percent of the time megan and i are on the same page when it comes to boats i was a little bit more enthralled with the hawaii boat than megan was and we butted heads a little bit but when it comes to big decisions like this we use the veto system. If either one of us is not on board with something, it's a no-go. I'll be honest with you, right about now we are done looking for boats. It's been over a year since we sold Clarity. We've traveled a long ways, put a lot of miles in airplane seats and have not been able to close the deal. We really miss the cruising life. We miss being out on the ocean. We miss the community and the destinations. But you know what? There's, there's more to life than sailing around on little boats. There's family. There's health. There's puppy dogs. We pride ourselves on being tenacious, gritty, not giving up. But at some point, you have to ask yourself if it's worth the sacrifice. Who am I talking to on the phone? We'll get to that in a second, but let's explain our absence from YouTube. It's been several weeks since we've posted after like, what, three or four years of regular videos? Yeah, I mean, we make videos that document what's happening in our lives in real time. Yeah, when folks meet us in real life, they say, hey, you guys are just like you are in the videos. There has been a lot of uncertainty in our life in the last year. Maybe it's something you can identify with. It's just not knowing what comes next. Very stressful. And we noticed that sharing that on the videos is actually amplifying the stress that comes from all this uncertainty. Right. I mean, just 
hey, have you thought about doing this? Have you thought about doing that? Have you looked at this boat? Have you looked at... We've looked at that boat. Well, and that's not to say we don't love each and every comment. We read them all, and even the critical ones we read and appreciate. So thank you so much for all of your suggestions and insights. We definitely value them. Let's face it. We have nothing to complain about. We're incredibly privileged, incredibly lucky. We're surrounded by folks who love us and who we love, and we get to spend lots of time with them. So suffering, we are not, or, or most of the suffering is just self-imposed. We're incredibly grateful to all of our supporters and people that help us out during these times. So uh, yeah, we're not headed down a, a path to nowhere. You remember that boat that we were under contract with in Southern California and we reached back out to the owner to see if we could complete the deal. And while I would definitely not say that we've got a deal, at least there is some very slow communication about it. So I guess we'll see how it goes. And either way, we're going to be just fine. Hey, either way was the name of our last boat. Either way, it'll be fine. <laughs> yes, and thank you all for sharing your valuable time with us. We really, really appreciate it. And, of course, special thanks to the patrons for all your extra love and support. Take care, everybody. Hopefully, we'll be back soon with some good news. Take care. Oh, my God, <laughs> There's orcas out here. There must be like four or five and they're spouting, they're surfing waves. I swear this is the most beautiful spot on earth. You going that way? Joe.